All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking about real music in real time for real people just like you and just like me. Steve Perry, has he gone into permanent lockdown mode? Uh, he's been rather quiet since April. Uh, back in April, he um, put out a very nice a cappella version of the Beach Boys classic In My Room. Uh, since uh, that a cappella version, I've heard some people add music to Perry's vocals. Um, you can actually do a lot with that uh, vocal track if you uh, you know choose to do it. If you've got some Pro Tools or you've got a program where you can add instrumentation, uh, it basically shows you what Steve Perry can do, and then you dress it up a little bit, and it gets even better. Um, but as you know, and I've said this on this channel before, uh, Perry is your original social distancer. Uh, he has fulfilled every promise that he needed to fulfill. Uh, he is involved in the current litigation against his uh, former band Journey, as he and uh, Herbie Herbert and Steve Smith and Ross Valerie uh, are vying for control of the band. Uh, and we don't know what is going to come of that. It is very interesting that he would partner with his old boss, somebody who um, I don't think he really liked at the end of his tenure with Journey or right before he um, quit Journey or was forced out, I should say. He didn't quit. He was told that they were looking for other singers. Uh, at that point, Irving Azoff was doing the managing and Herbie said as one last gift, he was going to step aside. So it's kind of interesting that all that came together with both uh, Ross Valerie and Steve Smith. Uh, these are three guys that were at odds with Steve Perry at certain points during the entire you know, journey experience there where Smith and Valerie were fired as the rhythm section and ironically they were fired again by Neil Sean recently, basically as, um, you know, insubordination. Kind of sounds like if you're an employer, you would say these two employees are, um, you know, doing something that they shouldn't be doing, and thus uh, they're undermining the work environment, and therefore uh, they've been dismissed. So um, as far as Perry goes, though, you know, he doesn't have to do anything else. I think I've said this in videos. People ask me, Dave, where's Steve? I thought he had more music. He he may still put out music. Uh, if he's got music and he thinks it's any good, or if he's got new songs that he wants to record, uh, he's had a lot of downtime. And everybody's had a lot of downtime. Um, as, as you know, we waited uh, quite a long time about what? Uh, 25 years or so before Steve Perry came out with an album. So I don't think there's any rush on this. Uh, he fulfilled his pledge to Kelly. And uh, now I think he's just playing out the string. You know, he's just going to live his life, lay low. Maybe he'll record something. Maybe he won't. Um, the, the question is, does Steve Perry have anything more to say to the music world? And... Even if he spoke in gibberish, I think a lot of his fans would be pleased to hear Steve Perry speaking in gibberish, you know? Um, he's just such a great singer, and his voice means so much to so many, and many people really enjoyed the Traces album when it came out. But, again, in today's music world, uh, you're not going to get radio airplay, uh, you're going to get limited distribution, everybody's going to download everything, all these compressed files that don't sound all that great, uh, as opposed to the glory days of vinyl, although Steve Perry, I'm sure, uh, would be releasing his new stuff in those other formats so people could enjoy them that way if they wanted to. But as far as a profit motive here, uh, I don't think Steve Perry uh, cares at this point. I think he's got enough money. Uh, he is a co-author of the most downloaded song in the history of downloading, and that's Don't Stop Believin'. And 
you know, he's done pretty much everything he, he needed to do and wants to do. But as always, I'll keep you up to date. Um, I'll keep my ear to the ground. And if I hear anything, and I do have a few people that are uh, remotely connected to Steve Perry, but not very closely connected, I will, uh, I will continue to monitor the situation. And if anything develops, I'll let all those Steve Perry fans know that we've got incoming new music, which would be nice, or that Steve Perry is going to make a public appearance somewhere. Um, again, with all these germs floating around and Steve Perry's history of being kind of secluded anyway, it, it really makes sense for him to just continue to lay low and not to get involved too much with humanity outside of, you know, where he lives and so forth. But there you have it, Steve Perry. We're still hoping, we're still waiting, we're still believing. Yeah, Steve Perry, more music. Anytime, Steve, we're ready for it. Something to cheer us all up would be really great. All right, folks, again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit the bell for notifications, and please check me out over on Patreon. If you're a Steve Perry insider, uh, or you've got you know a topic that might be interesting, uh, you can join Patreon and let me know about those things. Uh, you can do it for just a dollar a month. All right, thanks again for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.